What we're looking at now is a Francis runner. See that the water comes in from the right hand side and it's delivered to the runner radially. The Francis type runner is actually a mixed flow turbine. The water is allowed to enter radially because it comes in from the sides, is drawn into the center and then drops out of the bottom. So compared to an axle flow turbine, there's quite a lot happening. If this was an axle flow turbine, it would just flow in from the top, go straight through the runner and drop out the bottom. Not so here. We're using radial entry where we are flowing to the center of the runner and then we are dropping out of the bottom in an axle manner. So that's why we call it mixed flow, radial entry and axle discharge. Notice that we have quite a unique shape. The scroll case itself, sometimes called a spiral case, gets narrower as we loop back around to where the water enters the scroll case. The reason it does this is because we want to distribute the water to all areas of the runner in an even manner. But we can see the diameter of the water inlet here is very large. The diameter of the water inlet on this side gets gradually narrower as it comes around. So you can see that if we zoom out, you can see gradually narrower, but this ensures that all of the water is delivered evenly to the runner. So we're not getting a huge influx of water that just flows into the runner on one side. That would cause an imbalance, potentially vibration, which may even damage the runner. Not only that, but the runner is going to operate inefficiently. We use a wicket gate to feed the water into the runner. This is our wicket gate here. You can see that they're sort of plates that are mounted between the water suction side and the runner itself. The wicket gate is controlled hydraulically. See, we've got two hydraulic cylinders here. If one of the hydraulic cylinders, let's imagine for a moment this one where my mouse is now, if that was fully extended, then usually the other one on the lower side of the screen where my mouse is will retract. When they do this, they're actually going to turn this entire assembly here, and that is going to rotate the position of all of the wicket gate paddles. So all of these pieces here are going to rotate anywhere between zero to 90 degrees. If the wicket gate is fully open, then the water is allowed simply just to flow through and go directly to the runner. If the wicket gate is fully closed, then none of the water is going to be allowed to flow through and get to the runner. We can use the wicket gate in an emergency to shut off the water flow, although it's more generally used for flow control. The wicket gate also allows us to angle the water as it enters the runner, and this increases the runner's overall efficiency. The upper side of the Francis runner is known as the crown, and that's where the runner vanes connect to the top of the runner. The lower side of the Francis runner is known as the band, and that's where the vanes connect to on the lower side. So let's discuss exactly what's happening here. Water is flowing in from the right and is gradually being distributed to the Francis runner as it passes through the wicket gate. As it flows into the runner, we're going to get a pressure differential created across the blades. Remember this is a reaction type turbine. So the entire area is flooded and this is a pressure turbine. I'm going to flow into the runner now. And we can see I'm now in the middle of the runner. If I was water, I would now drop out the middle of the runner and I would enter the draft tube. So that is the path of the water. It's relatively simple. Radial entry, axle discharge. As with all reaction turbines, we're taking the potential energy of the water and we are converting it into mechanical energy. Francis turbines are used for a wide range of applications because they're suitable for many different heads and many different pressures. This mixed flow turbine runner can pump water as well as act as a turbine. So it is essentially a hydraulic pump and a hydraulic turbine. Pump storage plants use Francis type runners.
Now that we've looked at Kaplan turbines and Francis turbines, let's go and have a look at the final type of turbine, which is an impulse type turbine known as a Pelton turbine. If you like this video and would like to see more engineering related tutorials, then check out some of the links in the video description area. And if you click on these links, you'll get a special discount price for all of our engineering video courses. If you want to support the channel, then please do like this video or share it on social media. It really does help us out. You can also leave a comment in the comments section. And if you've got any questions, then please just ask and I will try to respond to you within 48 hours. Thanks very much for your time.